Hello everyone, we will continue the topic authority check and in the previous videos, we took the requirement based upon that requirement, we created the authorization object, object class, we have written the logic in the program and then we understood the process in the debugging mode. If you do not have the authorization, size sub RC will be other than zero. If you have the authorization, size sub RC will be equal to zero. Now, in this video, as a part of authority check, we will understand the meaning of SAP underscore all. One of the most important terminology, those who are working in projects, they always, always listen this term that this user has SAP all authorization. So what is SAP all authorization? Firstly, word itself is saying SAP all. It means you have the authorization to do each and every task or activity in the SAP system. So what is SAP underscore all? This composite profile SAP underscore all contain all SAP authorizations. All authorization object are the part of SAP underscore all. If all authorization object are the part of SAP all, it means if you have SAP all, it means you can do each and everything in the SAP system. No one can stop you. How we are stopping a user? Well, for to, to uh, how we are stopping a user that this user is not authorized to do this activity with the help of authorization object code. Now in SAP underscore all, all authorization objects are there. It means you have the rights of each and everything. Now it means a user with this profile can perform all tasks in the SAP system. No one can stop you to do any kind of activity or task in the SAP system if you have SAP all authorization. The user which is having SAP all authorization has the rights to administer the SAP system. If a user has SAP all, it means a, that user can do the whole administration of SAP system because that user can do each and everything in the SAP system. Now, how project works? In projects, it is recommended that only one user has SAP all authorization, rest all users have the authorization based upon their profile or we can say based upon their role. It is recommended. But SAP is recommended that in every project, there should be only one person who has SAP all authorization because if that user, if there is one user who has the SAP all authorization, that user can administer the whole SAP system rest all have the authorization based upon their role. Suppose I am a technical person in the project. So I have only, I am only authorized for certain task or activity. Suppose there is a functional person. That functional person has only rights for certain activity or task in the system. So rest all users have the authorization based upon their role in the project. But one person has the role or I'll say has the authorization SAP underscore all because that person can administer the whole SAP system and it is recommended. We might have more than one users also who has SAP all authorization, but it is recommended that one person has SAP all, rest all users are only authorized for certain activities or function in the SAP system. Now I will simply go for the system and give you more clarity. Suppose I will go for my user ID. Suppose I will go to SU01. Suppose I will display this particular profile. This is my ID. I am displaying my ID. 
if I will go to profile, because what is SAP underscore all? It is the profile profile. If I will go to profile, have you seen? I have the authorization of SAP underscore all. It means I can do each and everything in the SAP system. Why I am showing you this thing? Because many times people ask, yes, I the authorization object is not assigned to my ID. Still, I am able to do each and everything because SAP all is assigned to you. Yes, but in real projects, never, never, ne only a single user is there who has SAP all authorization. Rest, no other user has the SAP all authorization. Authorization always depends upon your role. If you are technical, you have different set of authorization. If you are functional, you have different set of authorization. This is how real project works. Now, now the next question comes into everyone mind. You have SAP all authorization, but in the last video, why, why, whenever you are executing this code, you are getting the size of RC other than zero because this question will come into every one mind. You have SAP all authorization. Why system is giving you size of RC other than zero? Now, this is important part, extremely important. Suppose I will go to SU21 transaction code. Just see this SU21 transaction code. Suppose I am simply, simply executing. Whenever I am executing, lots of authorization objects are there. After that, on top of that, I created my own authorization object. This is the authorization object I created. Now just see, when I created this authorization object, I need to include this authorization object into SAP underscore all. Just see, simple thing. We have SAP underscore all and it has suppose 200 authorization object correctly. It means you are authorized for all those 200 authorization object. But if you are creating something new, how, how it will go to SAP underscore all? We need to regenerate. Whenever we will regenerate, so whatever the new authorization object we are creating, it will also, also include into that. Again, please, please do not do this thing. The SAP basis person is responsible for the same. SAP administrator is responsible for the same. Because that person in real project, SAP all is only, only one user. So we need to take this thing at a, at a very critical level. Suppose if at this point of time, I will regenerate. But do not do this thing. Now I will go for yes. So whatever the new authorization object I created, it included into SAP underscore all. Now if I will show you the code. Now if I will run this particular program, I will get the size of RC zero now. Because I have the authorization of this now. Because I have SAP all. I will go for OK. Whenever I will execute this code, I will get the size of RC equal to zero. Previously, it was other than zero. Now, if I will go for this, now you can see size of RC zero because I regenerated the profile. So whatever the new authorization object we created, that also is the part of SAP underscore all. Extremely, extremely important. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, I give you the clarity on SAP underscore all. If a user has SAP underscore all, it means that user can do each and every task or activity in the SAP system. No one can stop you. That person is whole and sole administrator of the SAP system because that person can do each and everything in the SAP system. Now what SAP is recommending, 
in real project, choose one user who has SAP all authorization so that that user can track each and everything. The rest, all users have the authorization based upon their profile, based upon their role in the project. Suppose technical person, different set of authorization. Functional person, different set of authorization. Now the next question comes. Suppose we have SAP all and currently that SAP all profile has 500 authorization object. Now suppose after that we created 20 new authorization object, but for those 20, how they will add it to the SAP all profile, we need to regenerate. I showed you how to regenerate, but this is again a basis person responsibility. Basis person will do this, that the basis person will regenerate so that the user which has SAP all authorization can get the authorization of all other authorization objects also. Now, in the next video, we will take an example in which we will create our own authorization field also. At this point of time, we have not created our own authorization field. So that's it in this video. Thank you.